Hello again, viewers, and greetings, fellow space travelers. This is Thorn of Night, and welcome to episode 20 of my Gray and Sky series. And I have some interesting news. Uh, those of you in the front row probably already noticed that I have done a search for safari nets, and there's a reason for that. I'll get to that in just a minute. You will also see that I have got a water bucket, and if you look very carefully, I have a milk bucket. Where, oh, where did I get this? Cows! I have cows. Uh, I need wheat. I have, I believe, three cows over there, and that means I can start getting some regular leather, and that's why I was looking into the, uh, the, uh, safari nets, is because I want to move a couple of them away from there so more things can spawn and have more room but for right now I'm just going to breed a couple of these so I can get four cows so I can breed two more so I can start getting leather you and you are the lucky winners make babies thank you alright so I will let that go ahead and grow up and become an adult uh, leather and milk factory I am excited Ah, I have cows. But that means that I am also able to work on this next step here, the Spice It Up quest. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is craft this water bucket into four fresh water. Now, these fresh water cannot be dumped in the... I'm standing too close to that, aren't I? You go away. Uh, cannot be dumped like regular water buckets. They are just uh, buckets of water, basically. Uh, or, or units of water. It's not even like a measurement. It's not a fluid. It's just an item now. Same thing works with the milk. Thankfully, for both of them, you get your buckets back. And that's an awesome thing. Now, the fresh water, I believe there's... I might be missing something. Hold on. Let me see here. Salt. There is a way to make salt. I need a pot and some water. So let's go ahead and make this. Into a salt. What do I need next? Oh, where are you going? I have the salt. I, I guess I can just go ahead and submit those. Now I need butter. And this is probably going to be a multi-stage quest, but that's all right. Uh, butter requires cream or tofu, a saucepan, and salt. Do I have a saucepan? I don't think I have a saucepan. How do you make one of those? If I could type iron in a stick, well, that's easy. One iron, one stick. That's almost butter, isn't it? Uh, does it have to be there? Oh, my. Okay, whatever. So... The next thing I need, I need to make two heavy creams. One for the butter and one for the heavy cream. So how do I make that? Oh, that's fine. I need a mixing bowl and milk. So, do I have a mixing bowl? Mortar and pestle. No. Let's make that. Let's wait a minute. Yeah, I do. It's over here. So, two of these. Doop, doop. Don't throw that into the uh, vacuum hopper this time. Go ahead and submit one of those. And this is milk. Oh, right. Need to make the salt again. Salt. Heavy cream. And mixing bowl. Saucepan. 
So there's the butter. No, I did it again. Give me my stuff. Submit that. And then cheese. Okay. So I need salt, pot, and milk. All right. Pot, salt, milk. Jeez. No! Ah! Stop it. Ooh, it's just a one-stage thing. Excellent! And I don't even have to choose. I get another strong box. I thought... Didn't I have another strong box laying around? Uh... I think I did. I thought for sure... Maybe I'm using it somewhere else. Oh, well. Claim the reward. Eat the heart. And what's in here? Coconut, peach, olive, apple, starfruit. I don't remember if I had coconut. Let's go find out. I should probably make that so I don't have to do the Irish jig to get up the stairs. Okay, I had them all. Alright, so what's next? Oh! Hold on. It's got more saplings in it. That's what I'll do. I'll just toss it over here. Wait, no! I'm so decisive. I want to have a chest over here so I can have some items over on this end. Just for now. Take you guys. I don't think any of these are new either, but it doesn't hurt to check. I will eventually be making some sort of farm area, or orchard rather, for dealing with these saplings, but I'm not really focusing on that just now. No, 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 no. Okay. All right. So now what do I need to work on next? First off, I suppose I can put these away. I need to make room for this. I'll put you in with the other fishing poles. I have a mess. Where's my book? So that's done. Now I can move on to these things. So I need toast. Oh, 10,000 toast. Oops. Aged juice vinegar. Oh, no, I don't remember how to make vinegar. Hearty breakfast. A hundred hearty breakfasts. Oh, my. 10,000 tomatoes. Yes. Oh, I need to make a thing. Spaghetti and meatballs. Excellent. Cloudy with meatballs. Okay. Leafy greens. So I need lettuce. Good choice. Bacon mushroom burger. Interesting. Oh, no. That means I need to start making mushrooms. Surf and turf. Leafy fish sandwich. Okay. So, I need fish and other things. But, wait. What's this? Un one unclaimed reward. Oh! It remembers that I made a glacial precipitator. <gasps> That's awesome. Free reward. Okay. Eat that. Stop throwing things at me. What's in the bag? Limestone. Okay. I can deal with that. <sighs> oh, is that the same limestone? No. All right, so, that's right, okay, I wanted to uh, get to work on making the squeezer and uh, some other 
uh, machines in order to, to get things going a little bit more smoothly and so I can start working on uh, making the AE system and sorting items and, and making items and things like that. But in order to make things a lot simpler, I'm going to overhaul my power system down here. Uh, Graphical. I think I have plenty of room in here for gravel, yes. Uh, because I've got like three different things of power going on right now and I just don't really see the need for all of them. So since I'm making plentiful redstone dust, I'm going to just go ahead and switch over to the heated redstone generators and have them power everything. Uh, so I'm going to do a little bit of restructuring. I'm probably going to tear this down for right now uh, and get everything lined up so I can use the magmatic crucible or make a, another magmatic crucible and use it to supply a bunch of liquid redstone or energetic redstone, whatever it's called. Uh, to, let's see here, I think I have a total of five of those things. That one and four more up here. I thought for sure, oops, well, let's lay down on the bed. I thought for sure I got some as a reward. There they are. Heated redstone generators. So, I'm going to cut here, do a little restructuring. Uh, first, let's see if I've got another adult cow. No, it's still a babby. I can see it. Uh, and then get everything set up for being able to produce power by way of redstone. For right now, what I'm going to do is just manually plunk down the uh, redstone into a magma, magma crucible and uh, have it use the fluid duct, fluid duct to toss the uh, redstone into the generators and then I will just have the uh, power generation come out of five of these. Now I'm still going to be producing a little lava but I'm going to be nixing probably down to six of these, or, uh, or down to two of these, take six out, and I need to start making a whole bunch of these guys, the igneous extruders, because I'm going to need a lot of cobblestone, 43 million cobblestone, and more even. <sighs> so, let's see here. I should probably start on the AE network before I start working on the igneous extruder farm. So I'm going to do some planning off camera, get some things set up, and I'll be back. All right, I rearranged the power uh, generation down here a little bit, and I have the heated redstone generators in place. To get this additional magma crucible kick-started, I just hijacked the power from this a little bit. No big deal. But once it started producing power, uh, it was able to cook the redstone which has been diffied up into these five guys here they're producing power quite nicely and uh, I just have the power coming out the back and now th now that they are generating power I can just power this from these guys uh, it just needs a kickstart but now all the power is going to be back here and this is filling back up or staying stable I guess it's going in and out. But uh, these all are keeping up with the power usage. Everything looks fine. Whoops. And it's all hunky-dory. All right. Uh, so the next thing... Oh, uh, 
I guess, in case you're wondering, this leads down to the uh, blood tree farm, so that's why I haven't just nixed this. It's actually acting as a buffer down to... Uh, I thought I made an elevator for that. Down to here, so that it doesn't do a, a huge slurp off of the whole system while it wants just the buffer. So that's what that is. No big deal. Anyway, uh, the next thing I want to work on, I guess, is figure out... Well, let's see here. I could just make a few more of these. Like, like toss... I don't know, six more up on top of this and have them generate all kinds of additional power. And I could just do away with this over here and do away with the leadstone energy conduit that's running through this area. Uh, hmm. That's a thought. I am going to have to move these ender seeds somewhere else. I don't know where to just yet, but uh, they're not going to be able to stay there because this is the general area where I'm going to be putting my AE system. I am going to have to deal with the output from this, turn this into AE or ME cable and make this, well, I guess I don't really have to for all of this, at least immediately, because especially the output part, that's kind of slow. Uh, it's It has to wait for everything to happen, and I'm not generating a ton of stuff all at once. Uh, let's see here. Well, maybe... For every cycle of these, I might generate, I don't know, eight items total for all three of them. So maybe I don't need to worry about this part just yet. I do want to deal with the output, though. Uh, turn that into the ME system. And also deal with this by way of ME system. And somehow work this into the ME network so I don't have all this confusing spaghetti monster of pipes and tubes there, huh? Yeah, you're not filling up, you're just staying steady. Power's coming in, and not going out. Let's see if I turn the output off from you if you start filling up. There you go. And are these going to keep up? Looks like it. And I don't want you. Go away. So I can probably do away with this guy here. But I am going to have a wall of machines that I just am going to be using on the fly. Uh, they aren't going to be really hooked up to anything. It's just, I need one of this, so let's make one. Uh, but I'm probably going to disassemble this big reactor. Because dealing with the stuff involved with it is just kind of tedious. And if I can generate more power with a smaller area or a more inline compact area... I would rather do that. So what I might do is just run the rest of the Yellorium that I have through here and just be done with it because this is done now. And actually I can go ahead and take you guys. That's, that should be, why is it not updating? interesting but this is slowly going through power to deal with the wheat farm I am going to have to expand a little bit I am thinking of temporarily 
changing the wheat farm over to trees just so I can get some logs. So I might just go ahead and do that now. Actually, I will. I'll be right back. All right. Everything seems to be running a lot more smoothly. Just with the taking out the, uh, the pipe up there that had the cobblestone plugged up in it. And I am very happy that that is uh, the case. That it was, in fact, that and not something else. Because that would have driven me insane eventually. But I have decided that I am going to, at least for right now, uh, just run off of redstone, heated redstone generators and let all of these power everything I've got going at this point. Uh, I am going to let this continue draining as it plows through a bunch of trees for me. Uh, but I think the next thing that I pretty much have to do if I'm going to start amassing lots of items is set up an AE network. So... I need to get to figuring out how that's going to work and uh, set up the area over here for it. I'm probably not going to have these ore blocks in the network. I don't know. I might. Uh, but just for the simplicity of just being able to walk up to this and go, oh, I need an iron. So there it is. Uh, but everything else is pretty much just kind of, I don't know, there. So I'm not too terribly worried about anything from those ore blocks on uh, having their own little display. Thing. Wait, oh, there's a thing you can do in a in the ME network. That's just like the barrel that uh, that you can have a display on. Ha, huh, I might consider doing that. Anyway, uh, I'm going to have to do some thinking on that and, and doing some measurements and whatnot. That's a big old tree. Uh, so I'm going to probably do that off camera. Uh, and in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode uh, so I can move on to other stuff. Stuff. So, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to leave a message in the comment section below. I will do my best to get back to you as quick as I can, uh, either in videos or in the comments. If you like this video and you like what I'm doing here, please feel free to give a like. I do appreciate that. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so you know when my future stuff comes out. Uh, but I must move on to other things. So thank you once again for watching. This is Thorn of Night, and I will talk to you later.